China anchors monster ship in South China Sea, Philippine Coast Guard says. Reuters The Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, said on Saturday that China's largest Coast Guard vessel has anchored in Manila's exclusive economic zone, EEZ, in the South China Sea, and is meant to intimidate its smaller Asian neighbor. The China Coast Guard's 165-meter monster ship entered Manila's 200 nautical mile EEZ on July 2, SP. Ocasperson for the PCG J. Terriella told a news forum. The PCG warned the Chinese vessel it was in the Philippines EEZ and asked about their intentions, H. E. said. Below are your comments. China has made its intent clear. They don't care about the law, they don't care about court findings against them, they don't care ab. Out diplomatic measures or international condemnation. They want what they want and they will do everything they can just short of triggering the mutual de fence treaty to steal it. They won't stop until somebody forces them to do so. China means to rule the world, no doubt about it. These are just test incursions, pushing the boundaries. They're just chomping at the bit to bring Taiwan into the fold but their endgame is to impose the our form of government globally and control all resources. China's sea is just the beginning, mere stepping stones. Someone, like the UN, needs to sue them in The Hague for rampant environmental violations, get JUDGM. Ant, lean and seize their offshore. From China. Assets worldwide. Globally imposed punitive measures on all trade with China, both imports and exports, would also hell. P. For starters, it would be a shame if a drone sunk that expensive vessel. Nothing that a sea drone couldn't take care of promptly. The government of China will behave itself. That may not happen in the next few hundred years, but it will happen. The smartest of those people who teach philosophy may be able to figure out how to make sure that th. e-government of China starts behaving itself in less than a few hundred years. I think that Socrates, Plato and David Hume would have been able to figure out what questions the PR. Esident of China must be asked. The smartest of those people who teach philosophy at the present time can probably do that too. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.